So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We finally final. got the finals between Bradley's two and oh, I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I put you like Bradley. And Munir Kasim, you just have to probably swap it around. Yeah, Munir did win last game, actually. So we had the life totals incorrect, and yeah. the game did go to time. Yeah. Um, so there was about a 200 point life difference, and single it was swing. A time extension yeah, that we didn't. and a whole bunch of yeah. other shit, which was. Which is obviously the, the deciding factor. These guys are just about ready to go. Um, so and that's it. So they're gonna start now. Here we go. So I think Bradley's going first. Also, guys, obviously in the favorable yeah. favorable position to go first. Obviously, very so nice for one them. for one. One for one, which can be dropped to get out of Milu Seek, which can He's obviously be linked Seek away. Yet okay. it ditches a uh, dump multi faker. Dump a multi faker. Interesting. Ash Ow. Okay, yeah. Get out of here. None of that. Pay costs. Two I for one. I see an Ash. Very I strong. see a Metal Force Fusion, which is a brick, and I see a Twin Twister. So he, no so he normal summons the Metal Seek anyway. <laughs> yeah, sure. And just uh, tags it out into uh, Link Karibo. Link Karibo being the best Rebo. <laughs> the best Rebo. <laughs> the best Rebo. And then you get Metal Seek who just then searches, as per usual. Unfortunately, committing a normal summon. So, uh, Marionette is first. Uh, next turn. Uh, I think, I don't know what Bradley set. Probably a manifestation. If uh, it so, might have been the one for one. Oh no, no he, he activated the one for one yeah. already. So I'm saying, so if you got a set manifestation, that might have been giving me reason to ditch the multi faker. Sure. Yeah. Which he then Stand flips. By, is that a spoofing? That's a protocol. Okay, alt guess protocol. So he's flipping it straight over into this protocol coming in. The glare is getting really intense yeah, again now. Yeah, it's just but because of the time of the just evening. Just the time of the evening. This is being recorded at 7:32, guys. Just keep that in mind. So getting we've been kind of dark outside. Getting dark outside a little bit, but yeah, we've been playing for since what? 12 o'clock this afternoon. Quite yeah, a it's long about time. nine, maybe ten hours. Ten of Yu -Gi -Oh. hours of Yu-Gi-Oh. Just recording. Uh, <laughs> it's insane. So these players are pretty, pretty tired. Things do get heated. Do just apologize for the actions. You guys, humans are humans. Uh, you guys get the idea. As a so protocol did get destroyed by something. Uh, looks by like a twin twisters. twisters. Yeah, yeah, by twin twisters. Okay. So um, uh, metaphors fusions in the grave. Obviously, the favorable position for it to be in. Mm. Well, that's exactly where you want yeah, it. Yeah, that's where you mean, want it. And it was a break at the target. start, but yeah. obviously now twin he's twisters. Managed to get rid of it with the twisters. Getting it back into the uh, getting in the grave. Nope. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. I think everything seems fine. Make sure. I think we should just ask people to not interact. <laughs> Obviously, Foolish Bear of Goods coming out. He's going to drop the, the, the Dino Field spell, so he can probably search the Prankatops out. Yeah. Probably going to be a good uh, good card. However, if he does bounce it, he can't summon it again. And until next turn. Now we figure that out. Even though <laughs> Hannes did, did take the L with that one, uh, that... Uh, where he summoned the double Prankatops mm -hmm. in the one turn. Yeah. So at least we know now. Yeah, at least we know. Prankatops is a hard yeah. one split turn. Yeah. Engage, obviously. Yeah. Search and draw. Best card of the deck. <laughs> Why it didn't get banned. Well no done. one knows. You well played a, a spell and you that wins you the game. Engage. You resolved <laughs> Engage. Excellent. And that, Gets a ray. And it wins you the game. That's just insane. However, he can bounce the extra deck monsters, which is not a bad, uh, bad idea. Yeah. And I think that's a bad so, He's actually going to be saving his bounce for. Hmm. Um... Until that Kagari comes out, you know, trying to retrieve that engage again. Yeah. Uh, so I think he really needs the the shuffle away to add though. Yeah, no, to definitely. really get that the the weird options. No, you definitely. Know. So okay, so Ray's probably going to be destroyed now uh, by the area zeros, just so he can reveal top three. You know, look at them, get any sky strikers. But he might tag him out. We don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's find out. So. Uh, do we know if the if Ray is in the graveyard? Well, Dino Wrestling in the graveyard, able to be banished to summon a Pankratops yes. from the deck. As both players are just reading their own cards and each other's cards. Yeah, Area Zero targeting the Ray. Um, Popping it. I think it's not, not sure if it's destroyed for cost, but uh, okay, cool. Cost. Bounce on the Area Bounce Zero. Bounce on the Area Zero. Would it still? Sure. No, it's not gonna. Is it? Is it returned to hand? That's a continuous like effect. I don't think it's gonna. Okay. No, he's not. He's Tributing. Yeah, it's tributing the Ray to restrain okay. to Okay, so okay. What, what happened was he activated Area Zero on the Ray, and then uh, when So Bradley, targeted it. Yeah, targeted with the Silkitas, he changed the quick effect. Yeah, as a target okay. art. Basically being a... Because the Area Zero's effect wouldn't finish his off. Yeah. Because, because it's a field spell, a continuous-like effect, yeah, no, it definitely. wouldn't resolve. No, definitely. So it had to destroy itself, and obviously it doesn't yeah. resolve then. Okay. So good there, good yeah. thinking by Munir. Good thing. like yeah, good thinking. Having both of those effects. However, up. engage being resolved a second time, giving uh, Bradley four cards in his hand now. Ah, uh, not Bradley. Munir, four Munir cards four in his cards, hand now. Yeah. So starting with five and still ending with four and having an entire graveyard and 
And he can still draw a card of Metal First Fusion in the graveyard. Is he going into battle phase? I mean, Kagari's uh, quite big. Nope. Okay, here we here comes, here the we here comes the Pranker Tops. Here comes the Pranker Tops. Interesting tech for all you kids out there. Uh, you can banish the Pranker Tops field spell if you have it engraved to search a Pranker Tops. Yeah, World Rest. Uh, any any World Dino, Dino Wrestler. Dino Wrestler. Yeah. But, but uh, I mean, that's basically it's just a spell that you yeah. can throw in the graveyard to, to get out your Pranker Tops. You play Foolish Burial Goods with little, that little, little engine. Yeah. Just get to your. Uh, your negates, your interruptions mm. at least. Okay, so Sokita's is gonna get. He's gonna okay. tribute to make Kagari. So. Shrink the Kagari. Does it make the original attack of the monster zero? Or I just think current attack, attack zero. I okay, think it's just current sure. attack drop down to zero. Just says make its attack mm. zero. So I'd assume it's, it's, it's current attack, just drop it down to zero. However, so Kita's gonna go, and Protocol's gonna come back to the hand if, uh, if Bradley does that remembers. Work after the. He's getting it's protocol back. So effect was already uh, resolved to reduce it to zero, um, and then he made it unaffected by card effects. Okay, both players seem to be happy with the situation. So yeah. he if there's no dispute by judges and or players, it seems okay. Fine, so yeah. use something to remove the debuff that Link Karibo yeah. had, and uh, then attack into yeah. the last Altergeist monster on the table. So okay, we get the search in end phase, and now it becomes Bradley's phase, turn. And then the Shizuku, yes. Just waiting for Manier to pass turn. He's probably going to search and engage. Uh, we do know uh, Widow Anchor is in hand. Widow Anchor being one of the MVP cards that mm -hmm. uh, Manier has just constantly been abusing with engage, obviously. Um, just, yeah, there we go. There's okay. the Widow Anchor search. I think he sets a Widow Anchor, so Bradley might expect that. Um, and obviously, Ray is still being completely live in the graveyard. Five spells in graveyard. Five spells in grave. 500 yeah. attack loss. Pretty, pretty potent little card there is. Probably having four cards in hand. Four cards in hand. Yeah. Uh, one of them being Marionetta. Obviously, he got reset, and one of them being a pot of desires as well, which okay. is something we have to consider. Consider. Um. Bradley uh, questioning just, whether the uh, widow anchor if uh, negates effects in the graveyard. Yeah. Um, and I think it does. It doesn't say face up on the I field. Think, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll find. He out. can ask a judge. It's not a big deal. Uh, he's allowed to ask for an effect of a card. Pot. Pot of Desires. Not being Ash this time. So, uh, I see... I didn't see any... I saw a Solemn Warning. That's pretty much it. Two, uh, a Spoofing and a Rivalry of the Warlords. A spoofing be really good here. Oh, but they I just have to get that Pot of Desires. The Pot of Desires is going to chill there for this game. You know, Pot of Desires. <laughs> it's a continuous it's effect. There we go. Pot yeah. of Desires, you know. Continuous, does nothing. Continuous. It's, just, it's just a continuous, yeah. but it does nothing. Yeah, it when does activated, nothing. you do these well, things. Oh, it's like every turn you banish 10, draw 2. Oh, man. <laughs> you just die. You, you just, just play die. 60 cards. You play 60 cards, banish your top, draw 2. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's broken. That's not happening. That's so broken. <laughs> that's not a continuous pot. Because there's a marionetta. Uh, You'll be playing Shot of Greed pretty soon just to get those yeah, extra draws of the geez. continuous. So I think he wants to uh, use Marionetta. He swaps him out. He doesn't use its effect because he's scared okay, of Prankatops. There's the Melusik. Is Prankatops quick effect going to be used here? Yeah. He's got no way to tag out. He can eat. Uh, he can attack. He can attack directly. Uh, but uh, he loses attack 500, uh, which is yeah, the issue. So it might not nothing going happen. To deal any damage. damage. So I can't use its effect. Let's too. see if these guys remember. I'm just trying Munir, to uh, commenting on the Metal First Fusion, Metal First Fusion, Fusion in his graveyard. He's tributing the Middle Seek. I think he's already career. gone through his battle phase. Yeah, he's used his battle phase. He attacked directly for zero. Uh, didn't deal any damage. damage. <laughs> he forgot about the Shizuku dropping the oh, attack. Oh, goodness. Which that's a horrendous that's misplay. A, yeah, that's an horrendous misplay, unfortunately. Searching Kunkuri, now on the back foot, trying to survive and replenish his resources. Yeah, no, definitely. Um... Uh, yeah, yeah just Bradley me. probably going to wake up in the middle of the night tomorrow just regretting and the day some after, of these plays. just in a cold sweat, like, <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> minus 500 <laughs> attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and see, this is why some players we saw with the Wonder One tech, just so, because in case stuff like that happens, yeah, it still gives a 500 uh, attack, and obviously also sending it. So, uh, Prangatop still being live and all. Uh, doing the shenanigans. Rivalry of the Warlords coming sure. out. You can pick one of those. He can pick one, but he can still tribute to get it off the field if he yeah, wants to I get it off. Is he allowed to change to the activation? I'm not entirely sure, actually. I think he might be able to. Tribute Pankratops target rivalry? Uh, yeah, it should be a thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, I think Bradley just wants the rivalry to activate. Yeah, he's uh -huh. going to tribute. Targeting. What are we targeting? He yeah. could target something else, which is a smart play, actually. Uh, considering that he's probably not going to bother now with Pranker Tops yeah, and stuff Yeah, sure, he's, he's used one already. Um, that's one out of the two Pranker Tops in his deck, yeah, so... Yeah, no, definitely. Not 
anything else. So really. protocol being dropped. Uh, it does prevent him from. I think it stops the the drone because the drone's dark. Yeah, no. Oh, wait, he's all dark. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, he he won't be able to activate drones. Yes. Uh, and then what uh, what he did now he activated the spoofing to shuffle away the pranker tops popping the uh, protocol mm. to get back a card to his hand. Okay, sure. And he's gonna widow anchor the link Kariba. Which is rather interesting. Yeah. So he gets a marionette to his hand. And I think multi faker in hand is gonna probably hit the board now. So some hectic uh, chain link stacking happening here. Uh, obviously that went Both up to these like players chain they thought a little no, bit they, about they, what they, they were doing in their yeah. turns. They, th they thought super far. Widow Anchor took the Link Ariba. Obviously, Link Ariba being sent by Munir because he can only control one type. I don't think he's even allowed to activate that. Um, but it just seems to be allowing it. You can question if, if you're want watching to. it. However, I think Bradley does want it off the field anyway if he okay. wants to get his uh, Altergeist on the board. So, um, if 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 it doesn't go through, I think Bradley wouldn't be able to summon sure. Multi Faker. And I think Multi Faker got even ashed. The fact that he didn't summon anything was also weird. Yeah. So okay, really so we just got a really big. Uh, was Shizuku? Is it a Ray? That's a Shizuku. It's a Shizuku. The, the, the wind, blue one. the windy goal. No, it's the blue one. Uh, what's the type? Uh, the attributes. They're all machines. So basically, so rivalry machine, kind of screws and then it's over. Hayate's oh. fire. I mean, Kagari's fire. Hayate is wind, and Shizuku is. Uh, Shizuku is the blue water one. Okay. Yes. Sure. Yeah. They're all machines, but like mm. it's just the attribute that changes. So basically what happens now is rivalry is on the field. So what kind of happens is the Give fact that engage. Alter guys, uh, not, uh, Sky Strikers have the issue of they cannot summon Ray now because okay. she's a warrior. Uh, so the she's issue not comes a machine. That she's not a machine. So the extra deck is all machines, but she is a warrior herself. So kind of effectively turning off Ray to yeah. an extent. Either that or... He has to constantly just tag in and out, but I feel like... Is Ray the same girl in all the artwork? Yes. She just wears different she's, suits. She's oh, okay. That's so cool. It's based off some... That's why I kind of want to get the archetype. Like, when it gets banned, ah, I'll get, like, just a small engine. It's pretty cool. You just cool. get Ray, she's a warrior, oh, yeah. and then she puts that's on this like, machine suit. Yeah, that's pretty, like, kind of the thing. And then she comes back, like, because her armor breaks, and she comes yeah. back from the grave. It's a nice little... I don't show without armor on, though. Yeah, oh, mm. Konami has to <laughs> censor that stuff completely. <laughs> no, look, uh, it's... Uh, but it's based off an anime. I'm not sure which one though, but uh, people have said it's based off an yeah, anime. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of uh, sort of jabs at other animes and references, references in Yu-Gi-Oh. So I mean, the Ghost Girl's obviously nodding to everything. <laughs> everything I have no anime. idea. I have no idea. <laughs> your Ash Blossom, your Ghost Dogo. Okay. Hmm. No cherries and that? no Ghost Bell seen today. The entirety of the day. That looks like a waking. No, it's a spoofing. That's oh, a foolish burial goods that's not yeah. yet added. Foolish yeah. burial goods sensor. We don't think, I think, no, multi roll. I think, I think Bradley's done. He's going to try and recur up. the multi roll. Is Bradley done? I think Bradley's done. Bradley's done. Okay, he wants to go to the next game. Is that game two? Yeah, that's game two. I don't think we even changed the life totals there. I've, I've completely forgot think, to mark damage. I don't think. Uh, we're too intense. We're too focused on the yeah. game. We're trying to make sure these guys aren't misplaying. <laughs> we have, not that we can do anything about it. Kitchen. We just punch the monitor. We punch. What them. is he? What is he bringing in here? I quite. I can still got to remember what fantastic, fantastical dragon does. But I, I don't. The one that like if they make links get. and you draw equal to the link monster. Oh sure, yeah. And stuff and then you put cards back and he like so negates Yuja stuff. So two So Yuja sure. two point but in okay. Thanos dragon form. That's the Thanos dragon. Oh, that's Thanos, that's, dragon. That's Thanos the, dragon. The purple face guy. Yeah, the, purple, the, the one that's on the playmats and stuff sure. for them. Oh, they should actually be playing on them. Sadly, we we need the zones. So. Yeah, just to see what's going on. Because these people just be throwing cards around. It's. I have no kind idea of. what we would be doing. I, don't, I think he really main decks everything to alt alter guys because he mm. knew that would be his inherent struggle. Yeah, I don't think there's very much for him to do here. So Munir yeah. is probably just going to leave everything. He his seems to be siding stuff, so probably it's evenly matched. Maybe he just cut in his whole side deck and then took just all 15 cards out, out again. Just to think like he's siding. <laughs> just to mess with his opponent. But it seems like he's stacking the three there. It might be evenly matched though. Evenly matched is a good card against alter guys. Just uh, one tapping them is pretty yeah, much. Sure. Just taking them completely out the All picture. the back row. Because it turns them into a top deck war deck. Yeah, I'm surprised. I haven't seen more copies of um with the uh off off my tongue off the tip. It wasn't the tip of my tongue, but I can't <laughs> I can't think of it now. Um, actually, it was only one of the decks. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, Lorenzo wasn't playing Eradicators because uh, oh, yeah, it yeah. really hoses this deck no, no, if you name Trap. Um, I know, I know um, one of the people was playing Eradi Eradicators. Yeah, he played three of three them. Now, and, and he played against Sky Strike and he absolutely wrecked him with so, it. such punishment yeah. against these two decks. You name Spells against Sky Striker, Striker you name Traps, traps against, against just rips um, everything, these guys even the just, top deck. It decks. destroys them. Yeah. Uh, really the hard for them to gain control the of the game The only thing is with Sky Strike is as soon as they get to a ray, then they'll just get the Kagari and then they get back whatever's in the grave, which is the only issue. 
But uh, other than that, if, if they can't get to a monster, they are mm, really put, essentially them. stuffed, pretty much, to just put it lightly. So, both players, as they see, uh, Munir seems to be drawing already. He doesn't know when he's going to go, first, second, or third. He's going to go third in this game. He drew the field spell. There might be a brick if he can't get in the, in the grave. He drew that uh, Prankatops field spell. Did you cut me? You've already drawn. <laughs> yeah, you've already drawn. Oh, this drawn. is awkward. Yeah, okay. I think Munir is now knowing what his hand is without waiting for his opponent, so... Okay, so I see a call by the grave, a Prankatops, a Horn of Drones, and that's pretty much what I saw. Seems kind of fine. I think maybe just move yeah. that out the way there. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm not sure how long this has been frozen for, but let's uh, Transition for try now. and get Bradley's hand back. It's not going to take too long. Yeah. Try and get his hand back. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh, so this glare is horrible. He's a part of something or other. He's just uh, he desired summoned a marionette. Summoned a marionette. Set a. I feel like both these decks just do the same thing over and over again. So we're the side deck is king, man. Right? But the side deck is where we're trying to see the interesting things from now. Yeah. So just, maybe the even is coming in from. Uh, I haven't seen. I haven't see a single trap. So maybe, maybe it's still a possibility. Um, I, I can only see one card, which is the call by the grave. So mm -hmm. he's probably trying to keep that for an ash or something. Okay, so he's got twin twisters, horner drones, rank He's got quite a bit of side deck cards that okay, Manio sure. has. So he's got quite a bit of outs. Um, obviously, twin twisters going to be absolutely. But Imperial Order being in Bradley's oh, hand, God. that's oh, a very that's a huge big, that's problem. That's a huge problem. If Bradley can stack the chains properly, he can make it really and an anti spell. Like he's got. He's, he's first making sure. Days. Okay, he's gonna first plop the anti spell down, sure. just case of time. So he's not gonna side it into yeah. alter guys floodgates. Yeah, so. he's considering if he wants to set it. He did desires into a desire though, which is unfortunate. Oh, don't be soft, man. It happens. <laughs> it does happen, but it's sad when it does happen oh, in these man. most intense times of duels. So he flips the anti spell. Oh, he's got a good bunch of traps. Anti spell, set, though, but Munir that's... does top deck <laughs> engage. <laughs> Uh, well, he can't activate the engage. Well, no, Prankatops is still in, in, um... Okay, and there's a monster on the field. Yes. That's Maybe that's the, the thing you do. You play around Prankatops by summoning no monsters. <laughs> and it's something Altergeist can do. It's yeah, not uncommon just to just nothing, see, yeah. you know, four back row past the turn. Yeah. And they, like, just sit nice there waiting thing, for yeah, you. Just, yeah. yeah. The thing is, it's inevitable that they want to summon something, so... He goes straight into Horner Drones, mm -hmm. even though he, How uh, is he, cha he changed the anti-spell, he changed the anti-spell. So in standby phase, he's going to use Horner Drones. Oh, okay, fair yeah. enough. He's trying to get it out of his hand, probably just trying to, you know, make sure that the spells at least get in the grave, so that when Engage does resolve, he gets that plus mm. billions. Okay, sure. Um, as an Engage that does. That didn't seem so like a, a very smart... spoofing. <laughs> put that away. Ah, uh, your Pankratops is now switched off. Yeah. That he's getting was... Multi-Faker, however, and Multi-Faker is going to summon itself. Yeah, I don't think he thought about... That. But he makes okay. a Solakita, so... Never mind, now, now the Pankratops is live again. However, it's still, it's, it's other issues to deal with. Uh, we're just waiting for Bradley to present his deck, so... Many can cut, looks like they're gonna cut there. Uh, he's bouncing the token. Uh, maybe a bit too preemptive on Bradley. Um, yeah, but here comes there the comes Pankratops. the Pankratops. And I think he's out of things to do. He's activated yeah, those effects. Yeah, he's gonna. Oh, he's popping the Solkitas. No, he's just attacking into it. He's, okay, okay, he's just attacking. Um, into and it, then okay. if something is is activated, he will chain with the quick effect. Yeah, he will uh, chain with the quick effect. That was successful. That was successful. What he, he accomplished what he wanted. Okay, so he can't activate Twin Twisters. He's setting the Twin Twisters. He's just gonna set. He's not gonna bother yeah, popping into Skull quick yet. Is uh, it? Well, next turn he can just play? flip it over. Yeah, there's a quick play. Sure. Heavy Storm Duster, he's just going Duster. to. Duster. Oh. Oof. Target the Twisters. Oh. Go straight to the grave. I think that's Engage as well. That's and a call, call by the, the grave, grave and, and Twisters into that's, the graveyard. So the, the Engage one. is still safe on the right. He's got yes. a World Dino, he's got the dino in, the in his hand, which means he can, if he can get that to grave. That's Does it do anything for the Pankratops if it's activated? Does it turn it into like some kind of insane. What is what is its effect on the field? Uh, what's this now? Oh, the the dino, uh, world yeah. wrestle dino. I think it is. You can check there. Uh, world dino wrestling. That's yeah. what it's called. Yeah. Obviously, it's not okay. going to be named after. Please Arkansas. be good. Please be good. Please be good. It's unfield effect for Prankatops. Because so far, Sky Strikers has just been yeah. Prankatops. What has he flipped forever. over there. He flipped so, protocol. Uh, I'll guess protocol. To take. Sure. Uh, he top decked a multi faker. Not gonna lie. Uh, control during each player attack is only one one monster during each battle phase. If your Dino Wrestler monster attacks your opponent, it gets 200 attack during damage calc only. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can banish this card from the game okay. special summon one Dino Wrestler from your deck. It's not that great. Yeah, it's but you can get a fine. free Prankatops from there. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so it's not too bad. Okay, so Multifaker got uh, put out, and then a Hextia got put on board, I believe. I think it's a Hextia. It looks like a Hextia. Uh, Protocol obviously uh, defending it so he can't negate his uh, opponent's stuff. Yeah. So, um, Bradley is so far safe from anything. He can pot a Desires, but I feel like he's not going to want to. He's so just going to pot into he's another gonna, fight he's, if he he's, he's tagging <laughs> out the, the uh, Prankatops to target that Hextia. However, Hextia will get a search. How large uh, is Hextia? Uh, 1500. Okay, 1500, 1500, yeah. So, Hextia's going to search. Uh, search is... It's a marionetta and... A multi-faker, I believe. Yeah, it's like a multi-faker. Yeah. Which he then... Normal like summons the multi-faker. Full of cards, he has now the got way. the swing. I feel like Bradley has got in that favorable position. However, there's an engage set. So, if... if, uh, if yeah, if he doesn't... Oh, it doesn't resolve to the engage... It's gonna be an issue. Okay, he's swapping it out, so we'll see. Does he if not? Where's oh, he's gonna, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna Where is that imperial? It's still in his hand. He's making sure he doesn't get burnt. So okay, he's gonna attack directly sure. for five hundred. So five hundred goes down off of uh, Manier. Just so okay. So Melisa just finally, hit yeah, that sent, and, and then engage something. finally got sent, which is uh, which means that uh, engage goodness. is not a big threat. I feel like I feel like Bradley has got uh, got the upper hand here. We're still having cards in hand. Manifestation being on board. A manifestation gets oh flipped goodness. in the standby even. Yeah, this Get is a really a, really hairy spot. That's a to very. Be. This is this is hardcore advantage. That anti spell not popping the anti spell straight out the gate. Yeah. Cost him quite a he bit. He could draw an evenly matched. He could draw an evenly spot, matched, and I it would be good. No, he does not. He's got a widow anchor, which can steal a monster. Uh, is isn't it still Bradley's turn though? Yeah, no, no, this is standby phase of Manir's turn. Oh, okay, he's drawn already. Yeah. So oh, Bradley's busy doing Altergeist stuff, stuff on in Manir's turn. Yes, I had no yeah. idea. Yeah, no, this is four monsters in one go. This is how you play Altergeist to the max. Four monsters in your standby. In your standby yeah, phase. Sure. <laughs> That's how you play this game. So uh, yeah. he sets the Widow Anchor in attempts to not be OTK'd. So I think uh, I think they just he's gonna heavy storm dust the uh, everything both cards, everything he has cards. no cards in hand a completely empty board. board Bradley's two cards up uh, three cards now th th just drawn for his turn four monsters on field almost a full back row uh, I think Bradley might try and go for the OTK yeah he has the potential however if he expends too much and Munir does manage to draw that evenly matched it, we might, we might, might see a game that, here, yeah. we might see a game here. Like I said, that evenly match was the game changer against Goki for Boop. Munir. No, he's just going for this damage, I don't yeah. think he's... He might do some tag out tricks during Shenanigans. battle. I but, think uh, so, Hextia's on 2k, uh, Munir Seek's on 500, uh, Multifaker's on 1-2, and Silkitas is on 800. So I think that's, that's quite a bit of fair damage, it's probably more than half his LP. Ag, I'm not certain. Trying to get an update. Did you read those numbers to me again? For the uh, so basically, the he's already taken. So just Munir's taken seven five already. So um, five hundred of Melusik, two mm -hmm. K of I think I think Hextia's pointing to the Melusik. Mm -hmm. I might be mistaken on that. So that's two K then on the Hextia, uh, minus one thousand uh, five hundred on the. Okay, I think we're gonna have an actual uh, life total update. Fifty four hundred is Munir's. Yeah, fifty four hundred. There we go. And thirty four hundred on somebody else. I have no idea. How oh, these life like totals? I don't know how they change uh, it, even though. So Munir this is Munir. Nothing. I think he's duelist number two. So it's 3,500 on Munir. Yeah, I think don't. Uh, we haven't seen Bradley get attacked, so uh, we haven't seen him being attacked. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't think, think that's any correct, damage. but yeah. Okay, so I think Bradley takes game two. I think Munir just sure. scooped. Okay, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, that, that was more than enough yeah, damage. Yeah, that was more than enough damage. Okay, actual, so actual game three. The final here. last game. This is it. This is this is this is the, the the deciding factor. Whoever wins here becomes your regional. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! They go champion. home with a title belt. They go home with a title belt. Not really. You got you get complimentaries of the other people. I'll sing the John Cena theme song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> As he walks out. And then someone just RKO's him as he yeah. walks down the stairs. Oh. <laughs> RKO <laughs> out of nowhere! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, every, uh, both players are going to be power shuffling super hardcore. We yeah, know well, evenly basically matches. basically evenly matched. We know evenly matches are going to come in. RKO out of nowhere! <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a surprising play from Bradley. Like, I think uh, Nia did misplay, however, with uh, not yeah. popping the anti-spell. That did stuff him over. Because he did have response to the anti-spell. I think anti -spell Bradley just... Yeah, he thought one step further. Yeah, uh, he, he thought one step further. <laughs> Just trying to make sure, like, let me bait him to think otherwise. And just hanging onto that Imperial Order. I mean, so he didn't actually have to use it there. That's not being recorded, is it? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if it's <laughs> <laughs> just puts it in the middle. <laughs> no, look, I I, I feel like uh, Bradley was trying to play uh, play mind games there with Manier, constantly just trying to keep him. Hey, distraction is yeah, no distraction. Good way I mean, to win. Like, <laughs> it's a good way. It's like it's not it's not dirty. It's just uh, what's it? You throw. A it's gamesmanship. I don't I don't think there's yeah, anything no. wrong. No, it's, it's a bit of an angle, but I mean, if you can. Make your opponent miss some things, then you know, why than not? Fighting. It's better than fighting. It's I guess. Uh, relatively high level. Yeah. In terms of South Africa. And if they so. if they both seem to be fine with it, then yeah. I mean, it's, 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 a lot, it's Munir being a lot falling for it. Then, more so. calm than, yeah. than his previous game. Though, yeah. So I don't think there's any bad blood. Yeah. No, they seem to be uh, respecting each other. So, is the handshake going to come out from these two players? I think it'll be a fist bump. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, oh yeah, no awkward handshakes this time. So, Bradley. Here's the game. Was that a Valor that he opened? There? Uh, that no, I mean, he's not playing any. He's list. got an ogre by the okay, looks sure. of things there. Something that looked hand trappy. So impermanence is there, and I think I see That's another. It's a foolish trap. burial goods as well. Yeah, I see um, that, and a Hornet drones. So many yeah. are going first, it's unfortunately. So is that drones? Yes, that yeah, is drones. Sure. So we get the token, token. Just zero attack and defense mm. doesn't matter. Too ah, much. It makes a sky strike. It from makes the extra a token deck. that means nothing. So goods is dropping down. That gets three spells engraved. Mm -hmm. That means engage is going to draw a card, whether it likes, whether you like it or not. So good. So here comes the Kagari. However, he's going to get the engage back. So he's probably going to first put something in the grave, um, because engage is going to come out and then it's just going to mm -hmm. get the search effect normally. So yeah, he's going to go link it away. That's Kagari. And it's kind of a weird play from Munir. Uh, that he's just going straight into uh, the getting the engage. Yeah. If we counted how many times people... Yeah, he could activate something before he activates That's what engage. I think he was sure. going to do. Oh, no, uh, I mean, he still, uh, he still uh, has uh, the yeah, chance right, to. He still has the chance. Yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> Immediately activated. A quick yeah. play engage. Why not? So an impermanence and a there can only be one by the looks of things? Okay, okay, so it also looks like a part of acquisitive. I mean, extravagance. extravagance. So you could possibly have, have yeah. used that, uh, no, but no, he's just getting the search off the engage, not the extra card. Yeah, no, he's just. Yeah, see uh, what I'm saying? It's like. I think Munir is in a tense moment. He's stressing a bit. Oh well, we'll see where this takes him. He is going first in Sky Strikers, and he got relatively to his combo. So he gets the Widow Anchor. That's pretty much the generic standard yeah, play. Maybe he'd no rather, draws. you know, get some more utility out of his extra deck before possibly breaking it with a, the yeah. part of Extravagance, because that's the only way he could have no, um, okay, enabled so that second yeah. clause on on Engage. Okay, so he tags out into Suzuku. Uh, Suzuku, obviously, you know, just. Gonna end then face search. Mm -hmm. First one's to set before it ends his turn, obviously. Imponence is there. Two Widow Anchors in hand. Oh, there can only be one. That's gonna be a full four set from yeah. Munir. And then we're gonna get a, an ad from the, the And Ace the Suzuku monster. in the end phase probably just gonna get you your casual engage. But Bradley's gonna ogre the, yeah, Suzuku. the Suzuku. Dear God. So, <laughs> boom. That means he. Ah, oh, evenly matched. <laughs> Never mind. Evenly matched is not in the back line. Yeah. He still gets the search. It's a monster effect. As far as I know, he still gets the search. Just pops Wait, the did monster. Munir not have an evenly? No. Okay, sure. Oh, I you can see the, you can see the evenlies there, though. You can see there goes the evenly okay, pass sure. in the deck. Okay, so Munir is deciding on what he wants to pick up. He probably started out those eagle boosters mm, and all of the he, fluff. Yeah, all the fluff. He's just going for pure hardcore damage now. Basically, that deck list you're looking at there, you're probably much probably just looking at the side deck now. Mm. <laughs> if you want to look at anything, both these players are. Super focus, super train. So popped of duality and a judgment in his hand. Two pot of duality is not the best thing you want yeah, to that have. Solemn, that sol that solemn, solemn word. The solemn judgment is coming so uh, very handy anti for Bradley. <laughs> asks if he wants to respond. We do know impermanence is in the very far left zone. So that column of spell cards can be negated. He's going to sure. take the manifestation. The manifestation. Sure. Shuffle these back in. He's decided that anti spell, eh, not worth it. It's not sure. going to be worth flipping it over or getting that to the hand. So remember, no special summons. Obviously, he's mm -hmm. going to go casual marionetta. Probably going to get impermanenced or widow anchored. Either or. Maybe he's he going to widow anchor. Yeah, he's going to widow anchor. Okay, sure. Straight out the gates. So you're going to take control of it. Doesn't matter too much. He's going to go back to Bradley's side. That's what he wants. They just to confirm there. So the impermanence has a chance to be judgmented. Yeah. And that I is mean, a, it's a pile of damage. It's a pile though, of damage. And though, yeah, very far in. Yeah, I know, it's game three. Hitting yourself a 4k. Not smart. Yeah, uh, but, not the more, but the longer you go into the game, the more value it does gain. Uh -huh. uh, obviously, with your life points being constantly, being sure. always being able to be halved. Have your marionetta back, I don't want it anymore. Yeah, we don't want your marionetta. So we just know a single manifestation is set, which sadly, as, uh, uh, Munir just has to deal with it. Um, but I think Munir might be able to get to a ray. 
because he got the error zone on his hand. Yeah, sure. So I think he might be able to get to. Uh, it's just reading area yeah, zero. Yeah, just reading what uh, area zero. Sorry, what I'm calling it, error zone. Errors, whatever. Whatever, whatever. The, the field, field spell. spell. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna take take the marionetta. Interesting. Uh, uh, if you can get away. <laughs> I'll probably, what, we don't know. I also don't want to. What, what are you gonna do with it? It's gonna like it. It's time to make Barrel Sword. I haven't seen it once. Never. <laughs> <laughs> We've not seen that single card once yeah. today. Not a single time have we seen Barrel Sword. Yeah, he hasn't used so any of the non Sky Striker monsters on so a feature match. Right, today. he's taking 1 6. Oh, he's just hitting him with he's the. He's just hitting him uh, with the Marinetta. Oh, he's now gonna blow it up. Going down to 6,400. Yes, yeah, 6,400. So, uh, the thing is now is that Area Zero is now gonna blow up his own Marinetta. Ah, to flip Get three. Yeah, to flip three. Is it popping itself? Oh, he judgmented it. He judgmented okay, it. Okay, fair Arizona. enough. Okay, okay he didn't enough. set the manifestation. He was smart with that. Very good. He, he could have played both, because Afterburner is in hand. Mm -hmm. um, and he passes turn, so Marionetta comes back to his side. So, uh, 4k on Bradley, so 6 4 halved, whatever that is. Uh, it's 3,200. Yeah, 3,200. So, 3,200. So, another part of duality. Skill Drain being revealed. Ouch. Prankatops might be the one card to take, however, I he does think control he's card. He's grabbing the Skill Drain. No? Uh, yes. What was that? I think he grabbed the Skill Drain. Thing. What did he reveal? Skill Drain, Prankotops? Skill Drain, Prankotops, and... It might be an anti-spell fragrance. I think a spoofing. If, okay, sure. Uh, I think it was a spoofing. He's gonna attack him for 1-6. Minio takes 1-6. Okay. He goes down to 6-4. <laughs> He's a Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Minio just needs to use a, a, a warning now. Yeah, he sets one... Sets two. He still has a 1 for one in hand. Which means he could get could have got on Melusine. Mm, I think I he's think, saving it. Yeah, um, yeah just no. for when it's more critical. He doesn't really know what's in the back row, yeah. so randomly sending something is maybe so not as beneficial. Him. He's gonna send. Um, oh, the impermanence is gonna be in that zone. Ow! Ow! Uh, Negate Marionetta and yeah, and the the things in the same column as it. So the spoofing just shuffled away his manifestation for no reason. If he shuffled, mm. if he shuffled away the Marionetta, he would have so had strong. such a good play. Like, cause then he could have, sh cause then he couldn't have had impermanence to target anything. Summons a Pankatops. I'm judgment him. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Just crash into that. What's That's that? Just a thousand attack. Sixteen. A thousand, okay, yeah. Sure. Sixteen. So just a thousand. So two thousand two hundred. Bradley's life total getting precariously low here. So he wants to use Pankatops probably uh, as soon as Spoofing uses the shuffle effect. So. Uh, Was Spoofing negated for the turn? Yes. Okay. okay sure. So now it's live again. So he. Flips an impermanence to negate the Prankatops. Just do it. Yes. Right now. Was that set? Uh, that was set. Okay. So the column uh, card is negated. So there can only be one, which is going to be negated for the turn. Doesn't matter. So Prankatops okay. negated. I think it might just be on field though, however. But Pradley could probably. Yeah, I could bring out the Melusic, shuffle it away with spoofing. Um, we just have to read, just read what impermanence is if it says on yeah. field or. Look, the effect will still resolve where it's activated. So I'm not, I'm not sure if the. We need to double check if, because uh, yeah, we, we know Prankatops, if it goes off, the, like, Munir not, might not care enough if Infinite Impermanence just, um, if, if, uh, yeah, there we go. Just see what it says. Um, wow. As just he's scrutinizing. He made a, he made a Hextia. Okay. And then got, let's just say. Nah. It's his target of face up, um, negate its effects, it, but it doesn't specify where the effects are. Oh, okay, negated. so if its effects are negated, it's like Valor. So it is a good Valor. So people comparing it to Valor is perfectly fine. Yeah, it's the, the trap Valor. Yeah, it's yeah. a trap Valor. So Prankatops is useless now. Mm -hmm. So Hextia hitting to into Prankatops for Hextia is a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah so, so 500 that's larger. 500, yes. Um, off of uh, Munir, so putting like him down 5, to 5,900. And then probably 1,600 swinging out from okay, so it does. Manifestation. Oh. Yeah, and then one six from the, I think yeah he's attacking with the yeah he's attacking for that so yeah four three. There is an afterburner. So this is quite a game. This is quite a game. <laughs> and he can game. negate the there can only be one, which is also interesting because Hextia has spell and trap negates. Uh huh. And he sends it around, sends it out. Uh, what's the uh, puts the cost there. for Hextia's negate? Just tribute whatever card it points to. Uh, okay, and we'll so send, it'll yeah. pop the Mali Seek yeah. or send it to the graveyard. And then that obviously gets a search, sure. and then he's got traps to reveal. That's very good. This is, I, think, I think Bradley's now in the favorable... favorable. Yeah, can't speak today. Favorable position. Favorable. It's just the tiredness, you know, yeah. makes your tongue turn funny. Doing this for 10 hours straight. <laughs>
Uh, just make sure that our life points check check out with theirs. Ah, uh, yeah, I got uh, 2,200 and... 43. Well, it looks like 64. But, uh... I'm not sure if these guys are correct. I'm relatively certain we didn't miss yeah, any I don't think we missed I anything. Think I was correct. constantly... Okay, so Afterburner getting dropped immediately. He's gonna negate it. He's negating the Afterburner straight out the gate. Sure. So the Melusik, the Melusik obviously gonna... It. Obviously, yeah. Melusik is gonna activate. He's gonna bring Manifestation, change Still it to Melusik. Chain, sure. There can only be one. Okay. Getting that out while the, the negation of Hextia is, is not alive. Spoofing. It's going to shuffle Manifestation away. What was the target there? Uh, he, he, used, uh, he was going to Manifestation back the Meadow Seek. Okay. But now obviously he doesn't want a Manifestation to go to waste. So he's going to shuffle away, get a search at least. Mm -hmm. And we know Meadow Seek still gets a search obviously because it was sent to the graveyard sure, just in general. Sure, sure. So he's still uh, going to get something yeah. out of this. But there can only be one is now and the Kunt Quarry is on the field. Okay. So that's completely fine. Munir sets, I didn't see what he set. And then Bradley draws for turn. Okay. So a prank atop gets drawn. Oh, goodness. Which this means card. he can sum. This, this card, card is the MVP. I yeah. promise you, this thing so is. Good. If it's not an ulti. It's going to be an ulti. We've just upgraded it to ulti stages. <laughs> it's going to be an ulti. It might as well be. It's a 3 of an every yeah, deck. Geez. It might as well be an ulti. Twos and threes everywhere. But we at least hope for super. So we uh, hope for yeah, super. Let's, let's hope if for I get super. ulti, I get it. So Bradley doesn't want to reveal the prank atops just yet. 1500 is what's just a little bit of damage, yeah. He's just asking now. I would have personally, I would have gone for the pranker top summon. Not sure what's going on here. And he sets a card, which is allowed to do. I think he's on 2800. Yes. But uh, we can always just re watch the recording to yeah. see what damage actually Relatively got certain dealt. this is fine. Yeah. If it seems out of place. Just ask questions there. So one card getting drawn. Engage coming out. The one top deck. Unfortunately Bradley did not summon the anchor tops. I would have personally done that just to have something to if Yeah, yeah. You know, that so that the, if there can only be one can Bradley couldn't summon the Panker tops, he's the only one of the monster. Yeah, but a different type, so it's a dinosaur to the spellcasters of uh, Oh sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. So he could have summoned that, popped it, there can only be one, gotten into shenanigans, you know, spoofing and so on and so 2800, on. 2200, yeah, we're quick. Yeah, okay, we're now we're there. Of. Okay, now we're there. Okay. So we got our life points correct, ladies and gents. Mm -hmm. we, had, we were keeping better score <laughs> yeah. than they were. <laughs> so that's fine. We're just waiting for the Skistriker to do something. Yeah, I think when you just. Oh, there's an engage. Getting they engage again. <laughs> Yay! Yes. Please engage. Save my bacon. Yeah, just uh, add this card. This one. <laughs> this one right here. Back to my hand. Cool. Activates the negage. Yes, engage. Activates engage again. Negage. Uh, negage. 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 It's supposed to neg you. It's it's the reverse. It's the negage. It's the plus gauge. It's the plus gauge. Yeah. The best gauge. <laughs> it's the only gauge. <laughs> Jamming waves. Jamming waves, uh, pop the back row, yeah. target the front row. What is it? It's, it's target the front row and then no, remove no, no, the that, back row. No, no, that's afterburner. Afterburner targets oh, sure. the front row. And it's then, the other way around. Yeah, it's the other way around with the jamming wave. Obviously drawing a card, just getting him all the advantage back. I think he drew a ray, which is not too bad. Yeah, that looks like a ray. Yeah, it looks like a <laughs> ray. But there can only be, be one! one. <laughs> only one! But then again, he can summon the ray because it doesn't matter. Because it's a warrior. Yeah, sure. So he's going to pop the one for one. Non-targeting. Oh goodness. Yeah. Bradley there goes the one for one. One for one is okay. sadly gone, unfortunately. Uh, does he get the other effect? Uh, he wants to see if he wants to use it. I think it says a you can effect, I believe. He doesn't have to use it. I mean, Hex why the hell wouldn't you? Okay, so... Uh, That's pretty good. Marinettes are just going to the game. Uh, no, no responses from yeah. Bradley. Getting Huge 900, Kagari. 900 wow. extra attack. He has to attack Hextia. 2,400. What's, what size is Hextia? Uh, 1.5 at the moment. 1.5. What did he say? 2,400, he said. 2,400. So, so it's 1,900? Yeah, should be. Uh, 900 damage. damage. Or, Bradley, or Bradley yeah. going to 1,300. Yes. Real painful there. Real intense duel going down, yeah. That Pranker Tops needs to save him, and obviously Bradley is just... Uh, Thing. Does he have any any effects to respond with? I don't think so. I think it's 
it's probably safe to just leave the Kagari on board. So it's interesting he didn't choose this uh, the Suzuku. He's gonna summon the Milusik. He gonna summon the prank atop. Okay, Here we go. Oh, that can't he might happen. have just swung happen. it back. Uh, no, how did he summon the Pankratops? Can't he just summon it for free? No, you have your opponent has to control more monsters. Okay. No, yeah, you can. Just... Your opponent must control more monsters than you. Oh, wait, he's going to take him back to his hand. Take him back okay, to his hand. Sure. Okay, yeah, they, they disputed him, yeah. There we go. Oh, if he summoned it first, Correct. badly. Yeah, I think that was a, a critical a misplay play. there. That could have changed the game. He attacks. That's the send. That's the send. Right, sure. He, does, he does have um, Ray in hand, though. He's kept that. So I think he can just recur the Kagari and then yeah. uh, hit over. Away, yeah. Well, Kagari is huge when it comes back. He can just hit over for, for whatever. Like Yeah. I think if he connects one more time with the Kagari, it's going to be over. Because that's, that's time. That's time. And Bradley is definitely on the back yeah, foot Yeah, on here. the back foot here. And that's game. Game three. Taken down I think by Sky wins. Strikers. Yeah, yeah that's wins. a good job to him. Uh, Sky wow. Striker taking regionals at uh, Luck Shack here <laughs> in 2019. The first regionals of the year. Sky yeah. Striker is just pure Sky oh, Striker. not even Sky Striker. That's Flash Engine. Cancer. Yeah, that's just... Yeah. <laughs> As we saw today, uh, engage yeah. being recurred four, five, six, seven Excellent. times over. So of the four Sky Striker decks, it's basically a field of about fifty players. Pretty much. Um, yeah. The one, this one Sky Striker player was able to navigate through them all. Obviously, going three, one, and two, mm -hmm. two draws, one loss. Yeah, I think three he wins. just just made it in. He He's just, one just of the lower made it seeds. in. Um, and top cuts yeah. was in his favor with him being really pretty good much use of the the widow anchors there. Yeah. I think maybe like the, one of the if more Bradley clutch cards. If Bradley had just played the the prank tops, tops first, it might have been a different, different game, game, but that must play, play unfortunately yeah, cost him big them. time. Thanks, Tim. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, stay safe. Bye.